How to Create Partitions in RDD RDD can be partitioned in two ways. 1. Partition the RDD while creating it. 2. Partition an existing RDD. Partition the RDD while creating it. Partitioning the RDD while creating it can be done by specifying the number of partitions as a parameter. Here's a simple example that creates a list of 10 integers with three partitions. Here, three is the parameter indicating the number of partitions. We are passing it as one of the parameter to the parallelize method of Spark Context. Here's another example that loads the contents of the file into five partitions in Spark Cluster. Note here, we are specifying five as one of the parameter for the text file method of the Spark context. Partition an existing RDD. Partitioning an existing RDD can be done in two ways, either by using repartition command or by using coalesce command. Let's take our RDD2 and repartition it to 10. All we are doing here is apply the repartition command with 10 as the parameter. This gives the new RDD, RDD3. Let's verify this using the command rdd3.partitions.size. Now, if we would like to reduce the number of partitions, we should use coalesce command to reduce the number of partitions. Here, 3 is the number of partitions. The general rule is to use repartition command when increasing the number of partitions than what was already existing in the RDD and use coalesce command when decreasing the number of partitions. In this video, first we saw that RDD can be partitioned while creating the RDD. Next, we saw that the number of partitions in an existing RDD can be changed either by using repartition command or by using coalesce command.